Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Mark Dickinson, Mark Dickinson Photography. I'm going to do a real quick tutorial on some uh, skin tone and treatment here. Uh, this couple here has a really nice skin tone. It doesn't need much, but I'm going to show you a little bit of what you can do uh, with it. I think this one was shot at a very low uh, f-stop here, and you can check that by doing uh, I on your keyboard. Or if you know how to, uh, the quick, easy way to do it is with the I, but you can always do library and then scroll down all the way to the bottom. Like kind of down here <clears throat> and see the same thing. Uh, but on this one here, what I want to do is I want to just go in a little bit. And like I said, they have really nice skin. They don't have the problem that uh, that some would have. It is a little close shot. And what I want to do is I want to auto adjust it and bring that down so we have so we can see some skin here. This has nothing that was done to it pre or beforehand here. And I'll actually hit reset so you can see it. That's the original. Uh, but in your HSL toning, color, black and white, and all this uh, down here, this is probably the best that place that you want to be if you ever want to manually control something there. Pull your hue, saturation, and the L word out, luminance. Uh, you have that to where you can do all of them. <coughs> now you have full control basically over all of the uh, um, the colors hues and saturations in here. I'm going to shrink this down so we have a bigger working play, play area here. I am working on my other computers here. These are the, I think, 20-inch monitors, so it's kind of small. But one of the things that, uh, that I like to do, especially if you're shooting indoors or outdoors, you can see that you can really do uh, some damage if you're not careful. And not really damage, but you know you can always go back. But this just brings down the darks uh, in the orange, because our skin's primarily going to be based out of that orange, if I remember correctly. Same thing with reds. If you have someone that has like rosacea, I think is what it's called, uh, where you see the little veins and spider veins in their face, <coughs> you can actually help correct that through here. Um, and as I was mentioning, there greens I don't think come into our skin too much right there, so you can always just play with that. And I'll even turn all these down. Her shirt's going to go gray here on me in just a minute. And when you do luminance, luminance, I can't pronounce that word, but when you do that one, uh, you can actually come in and you can see there that's the only three colors that we have in our, our skin tones right there. Uh, the yellows you can see when you boost that around and mess with that you're going to uh, see a little bit of the teeth <coughs> and the whites of your eyes. Now but I was mentioning with saturations uh, now there's other things that you can actually do and you can see even though I'm doing this here I'm, I am losing a little bit in the yellows a little bit. When I do the reds, I definitely lose a lot of it. And the saturation that I take here, you'll see that our reds are in our lips, eyes, and ears. And then when we get to yellow, we're going to get in here, and you'll see, look on her lip right about here, you'll see that there is like a blue speckle. And when you desaturate and change that luminance in the bottom, you'll see that uh, I can bring that back out. And it should disappear. So maybe it's magenta find it here for you in just a second. It looks purple though. I think my computer's kind of hanging up there for a second. But that's it was uh, magenta that was on there so it is going to be you know, one of those three that's going to But again you can come back in here and pretty much if you want to desaturate anything in here you can and that magenta will bring out a little bit. And it essentially looks the same. Her lips dropped a little bit of color. And that was a full reset. But what you can do is you can now see that the faces and, and people are primarily cons uh, consistent of red, orange, and yellow. And now you can come in here and control that. See how I just darken that up? Brighten that up just a little bit. Same thing here. And you can do some like skin softening almost with, with these different uh, treatments. That's very, very slight, and it's only on the corners of her hair and shirt. Um, now when you saturate, that does a whole totally different thing here. You'll see that it does saturate the colors within it, but just in moderation, you can actually come in here and uh, make that look pretty good. Now remember, this corner right here is going to be dropped off because our magentas, if you want to put that back in, is was taken out. <coughs> Hues, not too fun. Sometimes to mess with those, especially if it's something of this nature here, you're going to make a uh, uh, you know, create
crazy looking shot but it does have its play uh, in here for instance I don't want to have a magenta shirt I can have a purple one or I can have a almost red one so you can see that these will you know they can and will assist you later on if that needs to once you get a spot where you're at right there that's going to be pretty much it and the next tutorial we're going to pick up on is the uh, eye tool so I'll be back with that and I'm going to leave everything like it is and do the eye tool